Good afternoon, hockey fans. I'm Chris Terrell. I'm here with RotorPros.com. I'm going to bring my Jaeger Bombs DFS NHL shots of the night. Two core players at each position. We're doing these two or three times a week. I'm going through, I pulled most of the stats that you're going to see off my DFS NHL cheat sheet that you're going to see here. First tab, you got matchups. So tonight we've got an 11 game slate. We've got Anaheim, Nashville, and the Islanders all playing a back to back and third game in four nights. And then Calgary, Vancouver, and Buffalo are also playing a third game in four nights. So this would be your team matchups. Um, you've got odds over under projected goals. We've got the records home and road there as well. Offense versus opponent defense. We've got home road splits, power play penalty kill splits, and then a bunch of advanced stats that I pull from naturalstattrick.com. And then we start getting into the individual player tabs where I highlight my core plays in green, my GPP plays in blue, and then I also mark down here as goalies are confirmed throughout the day. Um, they are highlighted in orange to the left of the goalies. And then you're also going to see pricing, stats, advanced stats, team ranks, and injury indicators as well. That goes the same for every single position out here. Green's going to be core, blue's GPP, yellow's going to be value plays, and that comes at each position. Then I'll add stacks as well. Um, closer, you know, once we kind of see maybe some of the morning skate information come in, um, going off some of the line combinations, I will also post three or four of my top stacks for the night. And then you can check out some uh, team stats down here player and goalie stats and then get into the advanced stats here as well i use this sheet for my season long with leagues when trying to you know start set questions as well as waiver wire pickups and stuff like that so i already mentioned we got 11 games slate tonight uh kind of big if you're a philadelphia flyers fan like myself we fired dave hackstall and called up carter hart who is one of the top goaltending prospects um, coming from uh, the Everett Silvertips in the WHL. Last season, he was the goalie of the year. Um, very exciting times. Some feels maybe a little bit too early for Hart to be pulled up, and I kind of agree, give, but, you know, you got to try and change something. We've had a lot of injuries with the goaltenders this year, so it's going to be an exciting night to uh, tune into the Flyer game, and I could see them definitely pulling this one out. He maybe is, uh, you know, a deep GPP play, but I'm not expecting a whole bunch from him right off the start. With that, let's jump into uh, the Jaeger Bomb shots of the night. So at the goalie position, I was looking at, as you could probably see in my sheet there when I was looking at goalies, uh, I was looking at Miko Koskinen. Looks like Cam Talbot's going to be starting for Edmonton tonight, so I switched things up a little bit. Going to be looking at Connor Hellebuck. Not usually looking for my core goalie to be on the road, um, but given his price on DraftKings under 8K, I'm definitely looking at it. Jets are minus 165 road favorites. They do face a Kings team that is dead last in the standings. 11, 20, and 3, and are also dead last in overall offense, uh, scoring just 2.2 goals per game. Hellebuck hasn't been as good as last year, but he does come in off three straight starts, including a 43-save performance against the Eastern Conference leading Lightning last game. And like I said, his best value is on DraftKings, where the price has dipped below 8K tonight. Frederick Anderson's next on my list. He, I've been talking about him quite a bit this season. Uh, 8100 on DraftKings, 9100 on FanDuel. So he's a little more expensive over there on FanDuel. He hasn't been as good lately. 5-4-1 record, 904 save percentage in his last 10 starts. But he does make a lot of sense in GPPs tonight. Um, he could be a little bit lower on being that they're on the road, but they are nice 175 favorites on the road tonight. And he faces, on average, just over 33 shots per game on the season. So that really helps his upside in GPPs. Um, if he's going to go ahead and get that win, he's probably got some shutout upside as well. He, you know, if he's facing 30, 30 to 40 shots in the night, that really helps the upside. Lee Sar also the biggest favorite on the slate at minus 175 versus the Devils team that's dropped four of their last six home games. Jumping over into centers, um, talked about him last time. He's just been crushing the value each and every night. Uh, Jack Eichel, the Buffalo Sabres. Right up there in the MVP voting, probably, you know, in that fifth or sixth position, depending on uh, which way you look at it. Yeah, price is at 8K on DraftKings, 7900 on FanDuel. And that center position is absolutely loaded tonight. I mean, you, you can definitely make a case for Connor McDavid facing uh, St. Louis. There's some other guys up there as well. Um, a little bit closer on DraftKings, but he comes on a little bit of a discount on FanDuel as the fifth most expensive option. Like I said, he's, he's placed himself in the MVP conversation as well as the top center and player in the league this season. 17 points in his last 10 games and now has 45 in 34 games this season. The floor is also sky high, which is kind of what we're looking for in a core play. He's tallied 49 shots in his last 10 games and sits with an elite 13.0 shots per 60 and 19.86 individual Corsi per 60 on the season. 
Um, for reference, uh, average course is kind of right in that 14, 15 range. So anything getting up around that 20 range is absolutely elite. Faces a Panthers team that's given up 22 goals in their last five games, and they sit 28th overall in offense this season. Uh, like I said, it's a lot closer decision on DraftKings, but pretty much going to be a lock for me at center on FanDuel tonight. Next up, we've got Dylan Larkin, 6,000 on DK, 6,700 on FanDuel. From a points per dollar perspective, Larkin is right near the top of my projections tonight and the low to mid 6K range on both sides. He's playing some of his best hockey right now, 11 points and 41 shots, and an average of 5.2 DraftKings, 18.4 FanDuel points per game over his last 10 games. So he's been trending up quite a bit on um, here, here lately in the last two to three weeks. He also hits on the advanced stats when you start breaking that down. 10 shots per 60 and a 17.36 individual course per 60 on the season. And he's averaging 9.6 scoring chances per 60 as well. So there's upside, there's floor, and if you're going to pair him with anyone, it's going to be Gustav Nyquist. Um, in all formats, they skate together in the same line. They both have over 30 points for the season and are just leading Detroit in all the offensive categories. Terrific matchup, like I said, against the Flyers that have dropped four straight while on 22 goals and ranked 29th overall on defense and we'll be starting rookie goaltender Carter Hart tonight making his first career start like I said I'm not ex I'm not expecting a lot from him could probably see a high scoring game here um, definitely this game is in the over conversation for me so I'll be definitely looking at Dylan Larkin with his price tag tonight gives you a nice balanced lineup especially for cash games the winger position I'm going to be looking at Patrick Line, 6,800 on DK, 8,400 on FanDuel. He's third overall in scoring this season with 23 goals, and a big reason the Jets rank sixth overall um, in scoring on the road, so I'm not really worried about the Jets going on the road tonight. On top of that upside, he also provided a very high floor, 12.6 shots per 60 and 22.3 individual course per 60 on the season. Plus matchup against the Kings. Um, they haven't just been bad on offense, they've been bad on defense as well. They've dropped four straight in six of their last seven games while allowing an average of four goals per game in that time. Like I said, it's a tougher decision on FanDuel um, where he's 8K, probably going to reserve him to GPP over there. But on DraftKings, he's safe in all formats with a price back down in the 6K range. And then we've got Andre Case, Case on DraftKings, he's 5,400. On FanDuel, he's 4,600. So normally I wouldn't consider, I would just consider him a GPP play because um, the Ducks are playing on a back-to-back -back and th on the road and third game in four nights. But the price, especially on FanDuel, brings him into play in all formats. Comes in with 12 points, three in the power play in his last 10 games with 30 shots on goal. Has been a staple in the top line with Ryan Getzlaff lately. Plus matchup against the Rangers who have given up four or more goals in six straight games and ranked 25th overall in defense. So a lot of opportunity there. Looks like it's going to be a good night. Anaheim going to get maybe a little bit of a boost on their offense. Going to, you know, they're probably in that three to four goal range, um, which looks good there as well. And then you compare him with Getzlaff and Auberg. Auberg is also very cheap, um, so you can definitely do that with the top line stack uh, for GPPs. Even Auberg in case I've been running out there a lot of nights in cash games. Just gives you a nice floor uh, for the price and allows you to get multiple superstars in your lineup. And finally, we can jump over to defense. I'm looking. I'm going right back to Alexander Edler. His price is back down after some struggles. Um, he was really good early in the season, blocked a ton of shots. He got injured there, missed about a month of time. Um, right when his price was peaking, he was up in the high 5K range uh, when he got injured there. Even when he came back from injury, his price was up there. So with those struggles, he wasn't blocking a ton of shots. He doesn't have a lot of upside to begin with. So that price has dropped back down below 5K on both sites. And he's actually been trending up lately. Seven points in his last 10 games. And what stands out the most is that balance of shots. He's got 20 and blocks 21 in the last 10 in those last 10 games, giving him a very high floor to mid price range. Um, like I said, the upside isn't going to be too great tonight against Tampa Bay, but uh, it gives you a really nice floor in that mid 4K price range. And then finally, I'm looking at Darnell Nurse, especially on FanDuel. He's been red hot lately with points in four straight in six of his last seven games. Not expecting that all the time, not expecting that point production to continue for him. But he's been a workhorse, averaging over 29 minutes of ice time in each of his last four, or looking at his last four games, 30 or more um, minutes of ice time in his last two games. He also provides a high floor, 29 shots and 18 blocks in his last 10 games. 
and the price is caught up on DraftKings, which kind of makes it a little bit closer to a GPP play for me on DraftKings. But on FanDuel, uh, his price hasn't adjusted yet. He's still at the 4K range, which is getting way down in that value. Uh, so for points per dollar perspective, he's almost a lock for me tonight. So that covers my core plays for tonight. Make sure to get over to our community chat, uh, our Slack chat, where we, you know, we're have, like I said, we're going to have some one-on-one -on -one coaching. We provide skeleton lineups. Um, we have advanced stats. We have this cheat sheet that you can grab a copy of here. You can also head over to my Twitter account at Jaeger underscore bombs nine. Um, you will find my cheat sheets listed there as well. I do cheat sheets for uh, PGA, NASCAR, NFL, um, MLB, NHL, NBA, pretty much all the sports. So definitely head over to either the community chat or my Twitter account to grab a copy of that. And if you have any questions, definitely hit me up in the community chat. And if you're not a member yet, make sure to get over to rotopros.com. Hit the sign up button at the top right. Get your free two-week trial. And we're pretty sure you're going to stick around with uh, all that we do offer there at Rotopros. Thanks for checking it out. Let's go make some lineups and get some green screens tonight. Good luck, everyone.